So I had somebody ask me an interesting question recently. Why are you doing the OSCP? What is your motivation? Um, what, what prompted you to take part in this incredibly grueling, incredibly difficult certification program? I was just like, okay, I'll, I'll kind of think something up. I'll write up a blog or something about that, or I'll you know maybe make a thread about it on Twitter. But I thought about it, and honestly, I don't, I, I know, but I don't know that well. I kind of thought about it for a little bit, and I said, you know, this could be worth a video just to kind of talk about my reasoning because I kind of come from a weird background compared to most people who probably do the OSCP. So I kind of wanted to just go through my primary motivations for wanting to do the OSCP in the first place. My background, I came from a college degree in computer science and a college degree in Chinese, Mandarin Chinese. And so I've kind of got that soft skill, hard skill focus. That was incredibly valuable, but I realized very quickly that I have to specialize. Specialization is incredibly important in just about every field, but especially in information security, which is so vast, you can't really make it much of anywhere if you just choose to never specialize. You can be a generalist for only so long. You know, you've got career fields like system administration and very broad and general career fields like Intel analyst, but even within those career fields, there are specialties, even if they're not on paper. So I realized very quickly that I had to specialize. What I've been doing over the last couple of years honestly has been trying to decide how I want to specialize and that's still ongoing. I still don't really know how I want to specialize. You know, I've still got that soft skill, hard skill focus, but I haven't decided which focus I want to focus on, if that makes any sense. Do I want to go and get another degree in a liberal arts, like international relations or economics, or kind of continue on my, my language learning, or do I want to go on the technical side? Unfortunately, there aren't certifications for a lot of the soft skill focuses. You can't just go out and get a certification in international relations or you know, economics or something like that. You can study up on it yourself and that's a good idea and I have been doing that, but there are certifications for the technical side. I decided, okay, I'm gonna dive into a couple of certs, decide what I like, and you know, if, I, if something really jumps out at me, maybe the technical side is for me. I do dev work. I don't do it on a daily basis, but I do enjoy doing dev work. I don't think that that's something that I want to go into full time. I had done a little bit of kind of network administration stuff, not formally, but I, I had studied about it, put a little bit of it into practice. But I had never done anything in the realm of penetration testing, malware reverse engineering, or incident response. So when I was starting this journey into the technical certification program, I had those options to pick from, kind of those things that I had never really tried before. That's my thing. I, I really like doing things that I've never tried before, kind of taking myself out of my comfort zone. That's why I did public speaking not too long ago at uh, the SAN Threat Intelligence Summit. I decided that I was going to throw myself in one of these CERT programs just to take myself out of my comfort zone and decide what I wanted to do. Then the OSCP came about. I had a friend of mine who is also a fuzzy snuggly duck. They did the OSCP and kind of talked to me about it and explained who it's for and who it's not for, the kind of process to go through to take the course, take the exam, and what you're going to know at the end of it. And I decided that that was something that it would tell me very quickly if that was for me or not. And then I tried it and I didn't quite realize just what kind of beast I was trying to wrangle with this. I tried it back last year. It, it failed massively. I did not have the time to devote to it. I didn't do any of the labs, you know, just didn't, I, I didn't quite realize what I was getting myself into. So I pretty much gave up at that point and just said that's something that's, you know, I'll study up more so maybe I can use my time more efficiently. That didn't happen for quite a while. I actually changed jobs before that did happen. I moved to my current employer and decided that that was going to be one of the things that I did early on was restart the OSCP process. So I restarted it, got the 90 days paid for by my employer, which is amazing. And then I dove in. My reasoning for it was kind of to decide 
what I want to do with my life. The OSCP and the results, whether I pass or fail or like it or not, that's not going to decide whether or not I become a penetration tester, but it's going to tell me very quickly, is this career field for me? Do I want to go into this side of it instead of intelligence? Do I want to go to this side of it instead of development? Do I want to go to this side of it instead of international relations or some other kind of soft study? OSCP has kind of been you know, this meter by which I'm gauging what I want to do later on. You know, I'm still very early on in my career, and I know that if I don't start specializing now, I'm going to regret it later being a generalist. I've already specialized to an extent. I've already got that language background. But I want to specialize further so that I can be used and so that I can use my skill in the best and most efficient and most worthy way possible. I want to put out good work. So I need to find out how I'm going to specialize. Am I going to put out really great academic pieces through some kind of um, educational institution? Or am I going to be an awesome pen tester who's dropping O days on a daily basis? I still haven't decided that. At some point in the future, I know that I will. And I think the OSCP is going to be a great judge for that. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the support so far for the OSCP Struggle Bus series has been awesome. I've gotten the likes, subscriptions, and comments that I've loved. Um, all of those interactions kind of go towards that feedback loop. I'm very early on in this, as you can tell by the constantly changing style and the different different things that I'm doing with the editing and uh, all of that. You know, I think even now the kind of setup in general is different. So I'm trying to, you know, try things out and do things new in new ways every video. And I'm using the metrics like I had explained in another Twitter thread. I'm using those metrics to kind of gauge what people are looking for. I want this content to be, you know, obviously monetizable for me, but I also want them to be educational. That's why I'm not trying to make it as a gaming YouTuber or something like that anymore. So with that being said, thank you guys for all of the interaction, the likes, comments, subscriptions, all of that stuff on Twitter as well has been awesome. Um, you guys keep showing out and just kind of let me know what else you want to see. Um, I'm going to try to up the volume of videos that come out just so that I can hold myself responsible and help you guys as much as possible and make this more of an interactive discussion than me just talking at a camera. So like I said, thank you guys and take it easy.